Rhythm up my reggae bass lovers. So there's always been a dispute about what is the greatest reggae rhythm of all time. Whether that be The Answer, Real Rock, Taxi, Slang Tang or Panani. Historically, a rhythm has always been defined by its bass line. So what is the greatest rhythm of all time? And more importantly, who played the bass on the greatest rhythm of all time? Let's discuss. So welcome back to the Reggae Bass Hub with me, Don Chandler, aka Don Strumental. The big question, what is the greatest reggae rhythm of all time? If you're familiar with the song Bam Bam by Sister Nancy or Ring the Alarm by Tenosaur, the backing track or the rhythm what we call it behind those tracks is the Stagalag. Now it's originally known as Stalag 17, some just call it Stalag, but amongst reggae circles it's called the Stagalag rhythm. So who played bass on the Stagalag rhythm? I introduce to you George Fully Fullwood, one of Jamaica's greatest heavyweight bass players. Apart from the Stagalag, Fully Fullwood has played on some of the greatest monster hits from the 70s and the 80s in Jamaican music. I remember Bucket Bottom, Lot's Wife, Daniel, all these huge songs by Prince Alla which were hits here in the UK, but had no idea until I went on tour with Prince Alla in the early 2000s that it was Fully Fullwood and the Soul Syndicate band playing the rhythm tracks and the backing on all these huge tracks. Let's get back to Stagalag. I first came across the Stagalag rhythm on a track called Arlene by General Echo. Now this version consists of drums by Carlton Santa Davis, bass by Fully and vocal by General Echo. And I advise you as soon as this video is finished to check out this version. You will hear the greatest three minutes of drum and bass ever put on record. Now this track consists of four notes which just hypnotize you and you may have heard me say before it's coming up with these simple bass lines that become the hook of the tune is what makes people like Fully Fullwoods, Flabber Holt, Robbie Shakespeare. This is what makes these guys so good. The ability to come up with these simple bass lines, but they become the hook of the tune and anything that goes on top is almost a guaranteed hit. On this track, Fully and Santa are literally playing the same thing. So let's take a look at this bass line. A great line for beginners and even if you've been playing for a while, there's some great information here on how to go about making really simple bass lines interesting. Let me grab my bass and we're going to dive into this beautiful four notes. So this bass line consists of just four notes. So I will show you what the notes are. So the first note is C, which we could play here on the third fret of the A string, but we're going to play it at fret 8 of the E string. We've got C, fret 8 of the E string. G fret 10 of the A string, B flat which is fret 8 of the D string and we have a low B flat which is fret 6 of the E string. So we've got C, G, a high B flat and a low B flat. Four simple notes. So let's play along with the track and see how that sounds slowly to start with. So that's our slow speed, let's speed it up and play it at the original recorded tempo.
So this bass line is built around one chord, C major. It's just this one chord all the way through, my favorite chord progression. So the important thing I want you to take away from this rhythm, the stalag rhythm, is not necessarily the four notes that are being played, but you may have heard me mention in a previous video, I think it was the Flabber Holt video, that the most important thing in these gifts that are passed down to us from Flabber, Robbie Shakespeare, fully forward, the most important thing to take from these bass lines is the rhythm. So the rhythm in the Stagalag rhythm, let's not get it mixed up, rhythm and rhythm, two different things. The rhythm created by the drums and the bass, we have to give Santa some of the credit for this. The rhythm created by the drum and the bass is this da 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 So what we're gonna try and do now is create something new out of that rhythm. Now what you will hear me say lots and lots of times is how I find many of the modern day bass lines very uninteresting and it's because a lot of them are lacking in rhythm. So we're going to create something new. What we will do, we're going to change the chords from our one chord, we'll change it to three simple chords, C major, F major and G major and we will change our drum beat which is the dup dup, du, 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 which is similar to the bass line. We will change our drum beat just to a basic one drop but we're going to play the rhythm from the Stagalag rhythm over our new track. And let's see what we come up with. So to start with, let's find our three chords. So we've got C major, F major, and G major. So let's play them up here. So we've got C, let's play C on the third fret of the A string. And we've got the F, which is the third fret of the D string. We have G fifth fret of the D string. So first of all, let's just play the rhythm, which is da 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 da. So we've got Let's put on the backing track and play that over back backing track just to hear how that rhythm sounds just over the roots of those chords. So that's just the roots of our three chords. Nothing interesting going on there. So let's just add a few simple notes just to each chord and see if we can come up with a new bass line. So on the C, we're gonna play C, three on your A string, G, three on your E string, A, which is five on your E string. And we had the F, which was three on the D string. On the G, we're gonna play G, which is five on your D string, D, which is five on your A string, and E, seven on your A string. And now we're going to add our rhythm to those notes. So over the C, we're gonna play C, C, da, 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 which is the same rhythm from Stagalag. Then we have da, 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 da. Put it together, we get. Let's put that together with the backing track and see how that sounds slowly at first. So our bass line's starting to sound a little bit more interesting. So let's try that at full speed and see how that sounds. Thank you. 
And there it is, our new bass line over a new drum pattern using the same old rhythm. Now I'm aware that a lot of the viewers on this channel rely on tabs to learn some of these bass lines, but I advise you and to challenge yourself to learn these rhythms, memorize them, and store them in a part of your brain for instant recall. And if you're ever in the position where you need to come up with your own line or you're jamming with some friends and you have to create your own bass line, all you have to do is instantly recall one of these rhythms and you apply the notes to your bass line. Now in closing, I'd like to send a personal message out to Fully Forward. And I know the history behind this rhythm and I know the musicians did not get the credit they deserve on this rhythm. But from us here at the Reggae Bass Hub, we thank you for the gift of the rhythm from the Stalag rhythm and all the other bass lines that you have passed down over the years. If you disagree with me that the Stalag rhythm is not the greatest rhythm of all time, then argue with me in the comments. It's all fun and it's great learning for all the rest of us to check out. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. A big shout out goes out to my supporters, the coffee buyers and the merchandise buyers. Without you, I could not continue doing this channel. If you found the information in this tutorial helpful, in the description, just buy me a coffee. I'm very grateful, thank you very much. And as usual, you're in there you will find a PDF and a download for the backing track. And I will see you in the next video. Read them up, practice slowly, be patient, and you will improve.